Rogers with Livingston and Ted Jellard too. And our host, Fitz and Lando, and he brings it to you. <laughs> creature features and all creatures. This is Creature Features, and I am your host, Tangella. Blah, blah, blah. Vince is upstairs getting his hair and makeup done, and the butler is having his dome waxed and shined. So I thought I would hijack the camera and the handyman, pilfer an American accent, and spare you the typical long-winded diatribe by introducing the show myself. Tonight's film is a good one. Finally! We'll be presenting 1978's Nightmare in Blood. We've shown it once or twice before, but you won't mind that at all, will you? It was created by the former host of this very show, our old friend John Stanley. It even has a cameo with Bob Wilkins himself. Make sure you're not off sitting on the toilet when that part comes up. Handyman! I'm still in focus, right? Yes, ma'am. Good! The movie is about a vampire terrorizing the attendees of a Comic-Con. Frankly, if I wanted to do something like this, I think it would be much more efficient to simply tap into the gas mains and use a simple igniter. But that's just me, and I don't think that would take up enough time to warrant a 90-minute film. And joining us tonight will be our old friend, Faye Fatale. She's an actress, a dancer, a pinup model, and she's even been known to do some voice talent as well. She'll tell us what she thinks of the movie, share with us some stories of her prior excursions on television, and tell us about what she's up to next. So don't go away, because it's going to be another nightmare of Faye Fatale fanfare right here on Creature Features. Okay, okay. What do you think about changing fanfare to evening wear? Because, yeah, I think so too. All right, stay tuned. Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Welcome to Creature Features. It's that wonderful time of the week. You know, that one where I'm here, you're there. Livingston is off running around, and Tangella is somewhere as well. But tonight we've got Fay Fatal. She's back. You know, I was going to say something about this little introduction you and yes. Tangella put up. You know, it makes the viewers angry because they think they've heard her voice. And oh, I'm sorry that they've, they've interpreted No, they're, they're, it's a pleasing surprise when they finally see it's you. Oh. But, you know, we start getting mail saying like, oh, I thought she was speaking and... She was not. She was not. But I, I suppose that's part of the joke. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Well, it was nice not to have to dance in front of the camera tonight. No, for no. For me. Yeah. And no you know, one wants Normally, that. you know, we do these introductions and, you know, it takes like sometimes 1,500 takes. Oh, geez. To get it right. Oh. Well, I, I, I'm no good at memorizing things. Okay. Right. Well, I'm right. sorry. But you're a professional actress. As a professional actress, that's kind you of my do. job. So you could memorize things. Yeah. Like, if I were to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, you could probably remember that and say it back, couldn't you? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's amazing. I know. Absolutely amazing. Powers you know, of the I mind. I do not have the mind to be an actor. And, and why do you think that is? Because I think I got the musical gene. I can remember notes. The musical gene or the musical genius? Well, the words I remember only have one letter, like A, okay. G, B, things like that. Okay. So, you know, I think it's the same skill. One thing at a time. Applied differently. All right. 
right. I can All right. I, you I can, can go on. with that. Right. How was the trip up? Fine. Fine. Very quiet. I no. understand the road was slightly rough because of the recent rains. Oh, the recent rains have left it a little snarly, but it I was... Like snarly it, roads, It though. was okay. I'm, I made it Good. through. No, it's important. I'm a professional. And you know, if the road's out on the way back, you can stay. There's a room next to Tangela's. Yes. Does, yeah. the, does the road have to be out? Can we just no, make no, a weekend of it? No, 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 no. You're always welcome. Oh, just make but a you know, weekend I, of it. I don't, I don't frequently invite people because the only spare room is next to Tangela and she never sleeps. Well, I mean, then like she and I will go like romping and frolicking. Frolicking. Yes. She does that. I know. Like that. Oh, we're going to have a fine time. Oh. But so. before that. Before that. We're going to watch Nightmare in Blood. We are watching Nightmare in Blood John from our Stanley's, boy John Stanley. And you know, we've shown this film twice before. Third time's a charm. No, but every time John Stanley was here to tell us all the behind the scene things. Well, you know them now. No, but it's going to be better because I can watch the film without him talking the whole time. Does he do that? You he think does. he'd know better as, he goes, a, as he goes, a horror No, host. he goes, watch what's going to happen here. Just watch, okay. watch. I'm here. John, I know you've seen the film. Well, he made the film, so it's more like director's right. commentary. Right. No, no, it's not. It's like watching it with somebody irritating who has seen it before. So and none they of say, this is oh, valuable. Watch this, watch this. So none of this is valuable, what he tells you. No, okay. everything well. is valuable, he tells right. John me. Stanley, did you hear that? He's Are you like, hearing? He's like our, our great granddaddy. I love him. He's he's the best. I love him. He's All right, fair. so we're going to watch that. We're going to talk with Faye, and uh, we're going to talk with you guys. We're going to read your mail and uh, have fun, right? Sounds like a plan. All right, All you right. stay. Okay. You guys stay, All and right. I'm stuck here. So here we go. Coming to this theater next week. You thrill to the bloodlust of Malachi and the Crimson Demon. You pale to the guillotines of France who are red with the blood of his enemies in the Zaroff Doom. Now, see Malachi, Hollywood's top box office horror star, in his latest fright classic, The Crypt Ran Red. saw the army of the undead which marched forth at Malachi's bidding. But Maria Nagel is Cassandra. The seductress Malachi could not resist, though her lips meant death. <laughs> 
a suicidal state through his own heart. A self-sacrificing vampire. Curtis Nolan as the police inspector who knew his modern force was no match for the might of a thousand-year-old monster. Eduardo Nash as the doctor. He knew the answer to the mystery could only be found in the family crypt, but he dare not reveal it. I tell you, Professor, these killings are strange. Almost beyond belief. Hogwash, oh, Doctor. Surely you don't believe them old superstitions. Rubbish. Never has the screen showcased such terror. And never has Malachi crossed the threshold from death to life with such foreboding power. Such deadly menace. Malachi rises from the grave again to chill and thrill you. Don't miss the Crimson Ran Red. Okay, now, well, here it is, our Palace of Horror. What do you think, Cindy? I mean, the original Frankenstein film must have played here. That's possible. Original Frankenstein Universal, 1931, starring Boris Karloff. Reminds me of the locale of your first horror novel. <laughs> well, there's plenty of atmosphere. This is like a set from one of those Christopher Lee British films. Yeah, there are ghosts all over the place. How do you know that? Elementary. Sherlock knows everything. <laughs> Listen. What is that? No, oh, come on, I'm serious. What is that? The ghost of the old usher. Now, there is somebody here. This is Flannery, the custodian. Yeah, since 28, when they first opened the place. What are you doing around here? I got cleaning to do. Expect a bunch of nuts renting the place for a ah, crazy convention. That's us. We're the convention committee. Oh, you're the ones putting on the horror con. Yeah, we're the nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold a screwball convention, go right ahead. Just as long as I get no complaints about my coffee in Danish. <laughs> it's not like the old days. That's when they made real scary movies. Lon Chaney. And the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> John Barrymore, <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> hey, how'd you like the ghost? Oh, I think I'm in love. Yeah, well, I hear you. <laughs> it's terrific. Just imagine, in about two hours, Malachi's coffin on that stage you really ready for him, Professor? Pretty weird how he lives his role off screen. Oh, the fans eat that up. I mean, don't forget a box office gross of 10 million. All Class A vampire flicks. Yeah, Cindy's right, Scotty. Malachi, one of the screen greats. It's like having Lugosi, Karloff, Christopher Lee, Vincent Price. And he's right up there with the very best of them. How come you 
you always leave out Maria Ospinskaya? Because I'm a chauvinist. Hi. Hey, babe. Hi, Barbara. Hey, you're late. Yes, I got hung up at the health spa. Three overweight ladies. Good for your health. You get out there on the golf course and you'll forget about all your troubles. What do you think? It looks great. Good, Harry. We got work to do. All right, we'll play it where she lives. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. still watching Nightmare in Blood, but we're watching it with Faye Faye Tao, the best. You know, really quick on this movie. Yes. Um, the 70s. The 70s. I think you're too young. I was young. not there. You were not there. I you was not there. You never experienced anything from the 70s. I have not experienced anything from the 70s, but those opening uh, shots of San Francisco, old school 70s right. San Francisco. No. You know, it the was cypress a, structure. It was a different time. I remember when that fell down. The cypress? Yeah. Remember oh. when that fell down? No, or were you in England? No, I was in, I think I was in L.A. Oh, you that were was in 1989? 89, yeah. 1989. I remember now. that I was in L.A. Right. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I don't know what the cypress structure is, but I know it was terrible. It was ugly right, right. as a day But that long. didn't happen in the 70s. Things no, like that did I, not happen in the 70s. Neither did I. Well, I didn't happen in the 70s. But well, you know, most of our viewers are from the 70s. Okay. They'd like experience That's the 70s. Those 70s viewers? Well, you know, it was a different time. Yeah, right? the 70s. No, I know, but it was different. Okay, like, you know, tell, people, tell me all about it. So, you know, disco was not the big deal tell that everybody about it, claims Pops? it was. The disco days. No, it was not the disco days. Oh. There was, you know, disco was like an aberration. Okay. It didn't really happen. It didn't really happen, okay. No, well, uh, it was on television and in movies, but you know, the rest of us you? were like, what in God's name is this? Well, I mean, I, I think you were running with a different crowd. No. But I'm pretty sure my mother went no. to disco I think, lessons. I think every viewer out there will say disco was not a thing. It was All not right. a true thing. Okay, folks at home, write in. Right. Oper right. Call in. Operators are waiting. All right, so tell me what you like about this part of the film. Okay, well, that opening scene. That opening scene. The, the movie sword within fighting, a movie. The sword fighting. Right. The guillotine. It was swashbuckling. Right, right. People were buckling their swashes. Well, it's important it was fantastic. to buckle your swashes. You know, you have to buckle your swash. It's I mean, important. it's, you know, it's a family show. Right, So, right. you know, that was amazing. And, uh, you know, so we, we have the uh, the drama of a movie within the movie. Right. And then we it have... It was like Inception. I know. I'm confused weird. already. I know. Okay. So then we have, like, first horror con ever. I know. That was not really a thing back then, was no, it? No. And they had cars. Well, of course they, they had cars. They had, no, but, like, officially branded San Francisco Horror Convention Cars. Oh, like an official where, thing. Where do I sign up oh. for the convention car? You know, I don't even think Comic-Con has any such thing. I think someone needs to get on that right, because right. we need to bring it back. Convention cars. Yes. So without the convention cars, all the cars are unconventionable. I, as much as I enjoy right. being unconventional, right. if they want to give me a car to go to a convention, I am all about that. All right. I'm well, all about next it. Time, next time we send you to a convention, which we've never done, but we shall do. We're going to have a Anytime. special car. It says Fay Convention Vehicle. Yes. On the side. That is what it's I'm important. talking about. Finally, someone who understands. All right, enough about the film. Let's All talk right. about you. Okay. All right. So you've been doing like pinup stuff, right? I have. I got back into the pinup modeling that I started my career doing. Is this I... like naughty photos? No. Or? No. No. Just We're... like. I've taken it more in a uh, Hollywood glam. Oh, I like that. Like you are tonight. You're a quite formal. Bit I much love it. Like as you are yourself, no. sir. Well, only because I did not have to do the introduction. Oh, so right. you, that's the formal occasion. No, no introduction. Well, you know, when I do the introduction, I have to jump in front of the camera and I get all sweaty and I have to wear a t shirt underneath. So tonight, Aww. no introduction. I get Pobrecito. to wear a t shirt. This is where I normally dress. 
Oh, well, I mean, you're, you're mm. so dapper. The other thing is my work clothes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I, that one part in the movie, though, I wanted to tell you about it. The Which guy, one? The guy who's all like, the, the old guy with the cart. Oh. Yeah. What I about hope, him? I hope they don't complain about the coffee and the Danish. I would like the record, let the record so reflect. I have never complained about any coffee or Danishes. I could use some right now. Are you Danish? No, Russian. 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 We got Ripa Ruski. Yep. 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 All right. Yep. Let's get back to the film. And oh, when we come back, to. we're going to talk some more Russian, right? Let, oh. We're Russian to get back to the film. Yes, comrade. Well, if we go. All right. See you soon. George Wilson. That's right. How do you do? Hi. Glad you made it. Good to be here. Is this your committee? Yes. Uh, Cindy O'Flaherty, uh, George oh, Wilson. George is host of Fright Flix. I'm going to be on the show tonight. Ah. Oh, and this is Barbara Castle. She's uh, helping me with the fashion coordination. How do you do, Barbara? And uh, uh, Philip Scott, Scotty. Scotty's handling the uh, writer's program and the film. This is uh, Harry Marsden, my cameraman. He'll be moving around. Just ignore him. All right. Oh. You know, Malachi's refused to be on my show tonight. Well, it's uh, rumored Brian? that he hates your show. And you in particular. Well, I don't Brian care. That's why I brought Harry. I'm determined to get an interview with him tonight, no matter what. Good luck. Well, good luck to you, Professor. I got a little surprise for you. We're having another guest on the show, Dr. Carl Unworth. Oh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> I hope to keep it a friendly discussion. Oh, well, now, this is something I'd really like to see. <laughs> well, here's another added thing. He's organized the women's groups in town, and they're going to have a demonstration outside the theater tonight. Tickets are hard at work, Billy. They're doing some of the promotion for us. Malachi, I would love to hear you think that way, Billy Boy. Those must be the two PR men, Harris and... Oh. Mr. Uh, Harris. <clears throat> Mr. Harris, how are you? How are you? And Mr... Just call uh, me B.B. Uh, uh, B.B. You must be Professor Seaver. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you, Professor. Nice uh, to meet you. This little darling? Uh, this is uh, one of uh, my associates on the committee, Cindy O'Flaherty, uh, uh, BB. Cindy O'Flaherty. How do you do? Mr. Harris. Uh, publicity purposes. Well, we're still getting things together. We should be ready in a day or so. Now then, before Malachi arrives, there are a few strict rules he insists upon. In the tradition of the screen greats, he feels he must live the role of the vampire at all times. He'll have it no other way. All of us understand the conditions of the contract and appreciate his attempt to read it. Well, that's the way of it, Professor. Now, you take this cross here around Cindy's neck. It'll have to come off.
I'm Winslow Seabrook. Ah, Professor. I've read your novels and only regret that you have yet to indulge in the vampire genre. Well, that's something I've regretted myself. Perhaps after this meeting... As an actor playing a role, I assure you I have my own very distinct ideas of the vampire's place in contemporary society. Well, I'd like to hear those ideas. Certainly. Later, perhaps, during the convention. Ben Harris is a creepy little guy. That's mm -hmm. PR men for you. Hatchet men working for Malachi out of Hollywood. I've got to get back to the spa. We close at 10. Come on over, Cindy, when you get finished, and we'll go for a midnight swim. By midnight, I'm going to need that swim. I'm George Wilson, you know, Fright Flicks host. I've been informed of your program. <laughs> and of your tongue-in-cheek commentary directed at the genre of horror films. Well, it seems to be what the fans like. Indeed. That's a bogey for you, George. Let us set the stage, Professor. Okay, fans, I guess I'm the villain now. Everybody will have to leave. Oh, uh, there'll be time for more autographs later, okay? Everybody out now, please. Right this way. I think we've complied with everything that your PR man, Mr. Harris, and Mr. Oop. Be very careful coming up these stairs. They're really dangerous. This morning, one of our crew fell on there. We've slanted all the publicity so that the buffs will think that you're actually in the coffin asleep on the stage during the daylight hours of the convention. I intend to maintain a believability in the supernatural as best I can. Such a believability should be the prime motivation behind all horror films. An actor cannot afford to disappoint his fans. <laughs> and now, Professor, if you will excuse me, I have several public relations angles to discuss with Mr. Harris. Harris? This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Miss Tangella asked Faye to give up her chair for a moment. Thank you, Faye. So we could do uh, letters, because if we don't read our letters, we get more letters. Complaining about the fact that we did no letters, right? What is going on, Mr. Livingston? It's this curious parasol. It's a skull parasol. She's had that since Comic-Con, number three, that we did. Uh, How are you doing, sir? 
Quite well, thank you. And how are you, Miss Tangela? You know, nobody can see you because you're all shady. You're like out of the light. She is indeed Come into shady. the light. Go into the light, Tangela. She's been shy lately. And I don't know why after that introduction she did. It was kind of nice not having to do the introduction tonight, though, wasn't it? Wonderful. You know, we are going to get angry mail, though, from people who thought they heard her speak and she did not. It happens. Now, you don't want to hear her speak. He and I have to listen to her speak all day long. It's not a sound you want to hear. All right, let's do some mail, eh? I'm just kidding. Don't take it personal. Too One late. of these letters is for you, so you better come back. All right, uh, this is from Rocco Dionisio Jr. Well said. There's two of those. There's two Rocco Dionisios. And he does not say from where. Oh, right here, Long Island, New York. You know, I love Long Island. I do. No, I, I once helped film the movie on Long Island. Oh. And you know, that's where the Amityville Horror House is, is on Long Island. Indeed. It's a true place. All right, so he goes, uh, love this show. I found your show on YouTube here on Long Island, New York. Is, is the YouTube on Long Island different than ours? It must be. It must be a special one. I remember watching the original series back in the 70s, and, and I am a big fan of all things horror. Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangella all complement the show and each other perfectly. You should see us off camera. Will, will we ever hear Tangella speak at all? Well, I think you sort of kind of did tonight at least you can see what she looked like when she speaks i have two questions though the opening video show all sorts of movies none of which i've seen played godzilla the shining interview with the vampire etc will any of these film movies be played i'm a big fan of the old godzilla films and would love to see them also the original creature features hand had six fingers why was this change or is it an oversight all right there's two things to cover here first off the movies we show at the beginning, it's like an homage, right? So maybe someday, it's like a list of movies we want to show, but we can't at the moment, but we're gonna try. And the other thing he says about the six fingers. So there was another creature features that had like a hand thing going on and that had six fingers, but I don't think uh, all creature features ever had the hand thing. So maybe you're right, maybe not. All right, keep up the great work. I look forward to watching each week as the videos are uploaded to YouTube and we look forward to you watching them, Rocco. You have a wonderful evening and say hi to your father for us. Oh, this one's got an octopus on it, an octopi. She loves octopi. We know what that means. All right. This is from Debbie in Marin County. Marin County is one county down from us. She goes, hi, Tangela. I too love sea creatures, including octopi. Once I received a make your own octopus. Her name was Debbie the debutante with braided legs made of yarn. Can you show us all of your favorite octopi? She will soon. Please say hi to Vincent, Mr. Livingston. Hello. And uh, P.S. My favorite movie you showed recently was White Zombie. I'm still giggling about the music. Baru. What was so weird about the music on that film? Everything was weird on that film. No. He's a bit of a skeptic. Thanks for writing. Next up, we're doing four tonight. That's wonderful. We must be behind. Typically, we only do three. All right, this one is from Barry DuPont of Tell City, Indiana. And he says here, the town is named after William Tell. Isn't that the William Tell William song? Tell Overture. Right. He's the one that cut the apple shot off his head, right? William Tell? The son. Oh, all right. Barry Dumont says, uh, first of all, I'd like to say, I think your show is cool. I was wondering if you've ever heard of the Japanese rock band, The Loudness. Yes, I have. And will you play some Godzilla movies? Uh, the Loudness is wonderful. And uh, I, I think we met them once, did we not? Long time ago. A long time ago. And Godzilla movies, someday, maybe, we'll see. We got a Godzilla movie coming up, right? I would just say yes. Yes. See? Thank you for your cool show and tell Tangela I said hello. And I think that she's very pretty. Sincerely, Barry DuPont. Well, thanks for writing, Barry. And uh, William Tell, they must have a statue or something, right? Don't you think? Switzerland. This is from Switzerland? No, William Tell. There's a statue of William Tell in Switzerland? That's where the story originated. So why would they name a city in America after that? 
Immigrants. Oh, all right. This one's from Peter Bauer. He does not say where. Subject, tone of the Wasp Woman movie. It's been a while since we've shown that one. Hmm. Uh, as a beekeeper, I took exception to the anti-insect tone of the Wasp Woman movie. Peter Bauer. Well, so I guess that's a complaint. Um, you know, we've got this other bee movie we've been holding, and I don't think you're going to like that one either, Peter. But, uh, you know, honey is good. So thanks for doing what you do. That's it. Right? Good, good one. Bee movie. B, it is a B grade movie. I didn't even think of that. Just came out of my mouth. All right. If you, uh, before I tell you how to write to us, we have one more announcement. We've got the new Creature Feature Club. Very nice. Creature Feature is creaturefeaturesclub.com. Yes. And if you sign up for that, it's free. It's not quite set up yet. We're just putting it together. But we'll be sending out free stuff and things in the email, and there'll be all kinds of treasures to be had, right? Indeed. And Tangela said she's going to be mailing out gift boxes, right? Can you imagine that? A gift box from Tangela. What would be inside of it? Oh, dear. Things. All kinds of things. In any case, if you want to write us a letter by email, use the address you see appearing down here. If you'd like to send a package in the mail, you can send it in the post to this address right here. We'll be right back with Faye, but first let's get back to Nightmare in Blood. Cindy? Hi. Where's Malachi? He's, uh, gone. Hmm. Well, he must have left already. Oh, maybe just taking a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> no. I guess everyone's gone. Well, let's go. Well, where to? Gary Arlington's comic book store. Oh. I told Scotty we'd meet him there. We're going to go over the uh, comic book displays for the lobby. Do you notice how dismal everything looks when there's no one here? Hello? Lonely. You can almost feel it generating its own personality. Its own emptiness. Come on, let's get out of here. We can lock up on the way out. So this is home for the next week, hmm? This is it. And does it suit you? Not bad. Oh, well, for such short notice. <laughs> it's another Surgeon Square. <laughs> you know, practice is keeping you boys very proficient. <laughs> the Gestapo would call this subterranean chamber a safe house. One episode out of many. <laughs> it's more years than I care to count. Well, I stopped counting long ago. Good. What have you boys planned for the evening? Oh, a little nocturnal sojourn, perhaps? Sticking out our necks, you mean. Oh, come off it, Harris. You know you enjoy your little excursions into the night. Fair exchange, I call it. You do for us, we do for you. I still wish we'd stayed in Beverly Hills. You know my career is everything. How could I turn down this opportunity? Not a mark in the history of the cinema. The first horror con with Malachi, the prime attraction. Not even Lugosi had a chance like this. It is almost a work of art. It is a work of art, Cindy. Reposing in four-color limbo since the year of darkness, sure 1954, no. when censorship caused these works to wither and die. Never in your eyes. Nor in the eyes of those who appreciate the greatest medium of all time, the comic book. Ah, vintage Wally Wood. 
1951. As you can see, the sands of time have taken away nothing. They've given only freshness. That gives me a chill, you know. It's a satisfying chill. <laughs> Looks like we could use a few new candidates on the board. Maybe we could fill it with some of those nice folks we met in the lobby. ...removed from the body and most of the blood drained. Ironically, the theater was presenting a double bill of horror films at the time. Look, uh, we're counting on you to give us a hand decorating the theater over the weekend. I stand by eagerly. I feel it is an honor to partake in the first of horror cons. Well, I hope it's not the last. You've really got this place together, Gary. A shrine for comics of all times past and of all times to come. What you see about you has come to symbolize my life's work. I've got to get to the TV studio. Fright Flicks seems to be where it's at these days. Mm. Can you handle him? Who, Unwer? Mm -hmm. He's a born loser. He does have a way of persuading people. The persuasion of the truth is stronger. Men will turn to ashes. Only comics will prevail. Well, I'll <clears throat> see you at the theater tomorrow, OK? Thanks, guys. Good night. Cindy, I'll walk you in the car. Oh, thanks. been meaning to reread Sherlock Holmes in The Sign of the Four. Of mysteries I know little. Of comics I know all. The truth of the universe can be found here. The mythos of mankind. One need only look among the old, new, horrifying, funny. Peace, war, love, hate, underground, above ground. Death, all is here, within these walls. We'll be ready to go in just a minute, Dr. Unworth. Uh, this is my pet. So how'd you get Malachi to come down for this horror con of yours? He didn't want to come to the show. Well, we were lucky. We contacted his manager in L.A. Uh -huh. And um, he was free, fit into his schedule. Yeah. Plus, we're showing four of his films, too. And now, stay tuned for the incomparable George Wilson, coming up next on this channel with another Fright Flicks. This is what we're about to go on. Good evening, fans. Welcome to Fright Flicks, the show for Saturday Night Losers without a date, the show for people with nothing better to do. I've been reading a lot of letters from you viewers, and you're all asking me the same thing. Why do you even bother, they ask me, to show two rotten films every week? Well, tonight we sort of got an answer for that. Instead of two rotten films, we're only going to show one rotten film, OK? <laughs> And instead of our first feature, we offer two distinguished guests, each with a different point of view about horror films. On my left, a man who actually enjoys the things, the noted author, Professor Winslow Seabrook. And on my extreme right, Dr. Carl Unworth, a psychologist who has devoted the last 10 years of his career to a crusade against horror films because he feels they contribute to the deterioration of our youth. In fact, this very program is featured as a contributing cause in Dr. Unworth's latest book on the subject, Rape of the Young Mind. This book treats horror films in some depth. And indeed, Doctor, you have an entire chapter on the vampire film actor Malachi. How come? The malignancy known as Malachi is indeed the core of my book, Mr. Wilson. His exploitation grade Z vampire films have sickened and poisoned the minds of young Americans for too long now. Why, it's an insult to the intelligence of any God-fearing Christian who knows werewolves and vampires do not exist. Here you see a man who in one breath claims to be the epitome of the cinema vampire, who has the audacity to call his work Film art, and in the next breath, poses for this kind of trash. What an excellent time for me to mention the first annual horror con, which will be held right here in San Francisco next week, 
with Professor Seabrook in charge. I'm uniting the mothers of San Francisco so they won't permit their children to attend this disgusting event. Once again, we Petitions are faced are now with a self-appointed censor who wants to tell us what we should or should not have. I've often wondered, Doctor, what's your personal reaction to a really good pornographic film? I've examined many such films. I'm sure you have, Doctor. Oddly enough, it's time for our first commercial break. Well, you've done a fine job taking pictures of all the nice folks for the board. Yeah, it's just all part of the business of life. What are you two standing there for? Get busy, both of you. Is it your throw or mine? I believe it's your throw. Get the shakes, have you? I'm not doing those yet. Can you stand the shakes, Billy Boy? Tell me. You've got a fine attitude, Billy. My throat. Malachi appears irritated. I have the feeling someone's going to get it tonight. Hey, come on now. Get on with your throat. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Nightmare in Blood. You know, I've always wanted to do that. I think that'd be the perfect heavy metal song. Oh, that'd be fantastic. You know? Yes. Nightmare in Blood. Nightmare it, in Blood. It would be like said like that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. That, that's what Zetro would sing. Let's record it. What, what else are we doing this weekend? I know. Nothing. You know, I've got a guitar still. <laughs> right. What are we waiting for? All right. So we saw, uh, we saw this set. We for the original Creature Features set. The the yellow rocker was there. Well, it's here too, you know. It is. But, I mean, just to also see it on screen. Fabulous. Right. Well, no, seeing the set, because, you know, I've seen film mm -hmm. of the, the show. Right. But I've never seen, like, the backstage. I and know, this is, right? like, the only backstage reel. It was small. Imagery. It was a I lot know. smaller. Well, it was, like, it was, like, all cardboard. And I know. And people just, like, move it in and out. I know. And, I know. It was so cute, though. We should have done that here. Just had a little cardboard set. Oh, but this magnificently appointed place. How could we? Well, we can't, can't, we can't. change it. Oh, but I love it. All right. Don't change a thing. Well, I love Don't what you're holding. I, what is this that you're holding? Well, this is one of the magazines I've been published in recently. We'll and you did happen camera. to mention it. And oh, here it is. <laughs> Show me, show me, show me. Tell me, what am I, am I looking at here? Well, this is the Spring 2020 publication by my photographer, Mary Lee Caruso. Mary Lee Caruso, show me. And I want to touch. Voila, sir. Oh, and that's, this is you. That's me. Oh, my goodness. You're I clean gonna, up okay. No, you look, you look like a 1940s movie star. We're going we're gonna to zoom in, I hope, maybe up here. I don't know. But uh, this is fabulous. She well, did this. You. What's her name? That's Mary Lee Caruso. Mary Lee Caruso. Pinup oh, photographer fabulous. extraordinaire. Oh my goodness. And all this I is all photos like this? That's all her work from this past oh, spring. Oh my goodness. And she put out a little magazine. She's, she should put out a magazine. No, I guess she already has. I, she's going to put out oh, more. She should do more. Or no, calendars. Oh, I'm going to oh, call her and oh. tell her. Oh, I love this. This is so classy. Right? 
So everybody gets their own two pages, right? So far, so good, yeah. This is nice. Oh my goodness, yeah. in this. Well, he's gone for the rest of the segment. Well, no, look, it's got vampires. Look, there's a vampire. Right. You should do the vampire one time. I think we have uh, some Halloween stuff coming up later in the year. This is fabulous. Yeah. So where could one purchase this? This can be purchased on Mary Lee's website, MaryLeeCarusoPhotography.com. MaryLeeCarusoPhotography.com. It's probably appearing by my knee, right? Probably so. Can don't kick it. it? I don't, don't move. All right. Uh. All right, that's it. Well, this is fabulous. So, you know, this is a very classy thing to do. Thank you. You know, I think with a thing like that, you could get into some kind of like classical film type thing. Uh, would you know anybody? Well, no. You see, oh, well? I, no, but uh, I know Not a kind of film. Good. Like if there was a film that like, we need people that look like from the 40s. Hire me. Right. I'm there. Let's yeah. do this. All right. Well, you know, we get a lot of directors sitting in that chair. I'm going to mention it. Oh, my. Not at the moment, but... Yeah. Soon. Oh. Or before. Okay. We had Dean Cundy in that chair. No kidding. He was he's he's done everything. He's done all the things. He's amazing. Wow. All right. Well speaking of amazing, we need to get back to the film. All right. Nightmare in blood. And then uh, when we come back, uh, we're gonna talk some more about you. All because right. you're the guest. Oh, how nice. And that's what we should talk about. Thank you. All right. Okay. You guys stay with us because we're gonna get back to the movie right now. Thanks for the swim. Sure you don't want me to stick around a little while longer? Cindy will be here in a little while. Everything's cool. Don't keep her up too late now. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Good night, babe. And so don't forget, next week at this same time, the famed vampire actor Malachi in his first feature film, Fangs Over London. Unfortunately, Malachi himself won't be here, even though he's in town, but <laughs> I can understand that. No one likes to review the mistakes of his youth. Uh, Professor Seabrook, you were telling us something about the effect of horror films. Yes, well, these films are a superb outlet for our uh, frustrations. Instead of persuading us to commit crimes, as my colleague purports, horror films may help to prevent that very thing. How about that, fans? We show one horror film and keep thousands of potential criminals off the streets because they're all sitting at home watching our show. Oh, it's a, a, a special treat, fans. In person, Malachi. I wasn't informed of this. If you think I'm going to sit, sit here down. And you know nothing of horror, nor of the enjoyment my films bring to the young throughout the world. Like so many others, you want to suppress the creative imagination. You look for the illness in others when that same illness permeates your very soul. And now... And now it's time for a message. The only message will be directed at you with your shoddy attempts to make a mockery of the entire horror genre. You call it tongue-in-cheek, when it is a slap in the face of every decent horror film actor. Tainted our images beyond repair. To my legions of fans, I must apologize. But I felt it was absolutely necessary to appear here tonight.
Scotty, you still here? Hey, Barb, you in the pool? Hey, Barbara, I decided to take you off on that midnight. Professor Seabrook? Yes. Lieutenant Driscoll, homicide. Yes, Lieutenant. They called and said, uh, Barbara makes the third dissected corpse we found in San Francisco in the last 48 hours. I understand she and Scotty were planning to be married. Yes. She was a very talented girl, Lieutenant. Any enemies? Someone was an enemy last night. Well, if you pick up anything, let us know. 1870, Francisco Boulevard. And the phone number. Three, three, seven, four, seven. Tell me something, Professor. Okay. Can you think of anything that... Uh, What's it feel like when the horror in these posters the starts to happen to you? Okay, if you think of anything, uh, please tell me. Just Ray? I'm okay. I'm... Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Huh? Work is best for me right now. I'll see you later. Can I talk to you for a minute, Professor? Sure, Scott. I saw her, Professor. Barbara. The whole thing is so senseless. That's just the point, Professor. It wasn't senseless. This morning, someone carved up Harry Marsden. George Wilson's cameraman. Blood was drained. Vital organs been moved. Identical to Barbara's. It's beginning to sound mm. diabolical. Here's something else. Out of the three murders, two of the victims were in this very lobby when Malachi arrived last night. Look, I've been robbed. That man Harris, the PR man, he gave me this. Look at it. No damn good. It's worthless. Now, you people are responsible around here, and I'm holding you personally responsible. I knew he was going to cheat me. I could see it in his eyes. Now, I am holding you personally responsible. Okay, relax, relax. All right, all right. Here. Good enough. <laughs> in the old days, they made good pitches. Oh, the cabinet of Dr. Callie Harry was real weird. <laughs> oh, the hunchback. Look at this, Professor. It's pretty old. Looks like a dime. No, it's not a dime. It's, uh, it's British. 1824. Yeah, it's a sixpence. Must be George IV. I wonder where Harris got this. You know, there's something weird about those two. Granted, they don't fit the mold of the PR men I've known. Some new films have just arrived this morning. Guess I'd better screen a few, weed out the best ones for the fans. Okay. Hi, guys. This is Roger. You guys are the best. You still always watch Bob Wilkins. Bless his heart. I just wanted to give you my Yeti impersonation. <laughs> Keep on trucking. Love you. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. 
Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. You know, Faye. Yeah. Faye Faytel. Yep. Amazing actor and dancer and yep. pinup girl. Yep. This film, there's a lot of murder going on. There is a lot of bloodshed. And that first murder, while very cool and atmospheric. Cool in the pool. Cool in the pool. Um, he, he slashes her throat and then she screams. What's wrong with that. this picture? No, that's... Um, it don't work that way. Right, right. No. I, I suppose if he was a surgeon and he did it precisely the right way. I mean, that, uh, we're talking about Malachi, mm, though. Right, no, right. no, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. pick that nit. You know, I think that was inspired by Jaws. You know? Oh, okay, there was Water no shark. Water murder. You know, that was <sighs> a big thing in 1978. Water murder, 1978, okay. Murder, right, yeah. all right. Well, you weren't around the 70s. You I wouldn't was know these not. Things, right, we were not watching disco. We were worried about sharks in the water and My being murdered goodness. in the water. It's a My, true story. It's a, Jaws, Jaws was not a true story. No, no, no. It's, it's, it was the zeitgeist at the time. Oh, SAT word, zeitgeist. No, it is. Was it so, the gestalt of it, it, it the world at the moment? It was something of a gestalt. Okay. But, uh, you know, we have to consult with, with Livingston on these German words because we may not be saying them properly. We might not be. No. Oh, dear. All right. Well, okay. let's talk about you. Enough right. with this movie. Twist my arm. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So um, you yes, originally me. had done... Creepy Coffee Movie Talk. Good old Creepy Coffee Movie Talk. Which is on Coffee TV 20, one of the channels we're on. Mm -hmm. One of many. Yep. Now and currently streaming on Amazon Prime. Oh, uh, really? Relive so, the old days. So, you know, I always try to find an episode that has you inside of it. And yes. it's a challenge. What's, what's the what's the keyword to search for to find Faye? Uh, well, the keyword has not appeared for Creepy Coffee Movie Time. They have not. They're not currently streaming the seasons I'm in yet. Oh. But uh, seasons one through five are a heck of a thing as well. So even though I'm so not in it, you can you're still- you're in six through 30. Nine through 10. Nine through 10. Two seasons, Two but seasons. I made my mark. Right. No, I no, ended no. that show. I, that's the only reason why I, I watched shows. that program is because you were on it. <laughs> a lot of people. That I, I got a lot of email that I was the only reason they were watching that show. Interestingly, a lot of it from San Quentin. Oh, you know, we've, hey, got boys. A, we've gotten a couple of those as well. Right? No. Love them. But they stopped. Oh. We, we got like 30 letters from San Quentin Come Prison, and then they all stopped, and I think something happened. Oh. No, no, no. The, they I, made I think, us art. No, no, no. The warden probably saw the show and said, we cannot be showing convicts this particular type of programming. That's they my would theory. Make us art. They made us art. They would send us art. It was fantastic. No. Yeah. yeah. That was a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to talk next uh, about uh, Circus of Chaos, all but right. I'm getting the signal we've got to get back to the film. If we have to, we when have to. When we come to. back, you're going right. to tell us about the other show you were on. Okay. And you were like a star on that show. I did more than my fair share on in this in that clown show. You were like an executive producer as no, well. No, I was not. All right. No, I all was right. not. All right. Well, let's get back to the film. When we come back, we're going to hear all about that. And you guys... You better stay with us because we're also just going to be talking to cameras for no reason. Thank you. Such a dumb thing. For the life of you, you don't understand. No. Really dumb. You just don't think sometimes. You do things without you thinking about your bottom. You be a nanny, you know. You're so good. Give her one of those coins to that blabbering old fool. If you let her slip like that, you'll be resting in Potter's Field again. So it was an honest mistake. What are you trying to do anyway? You trying to promote my own death now? Promoting our own eternity, you fool. Hmm. Another two-year fling for us, huh? Well, it better be quick. I'm starting to get the shakes myself. Come on, let's get out of here. Malachi's coffin will be safe enough. Back to Surgeon Square we go. Selling our goods. That's it, Billy Boy. Promotion. Always promotion. <laughs> Surgeon Square. Hmm. Yes. A British term. Used to describe private medical colleges clustered around universities, usually specializing in anatomical research. Why? Gary, is your store still open? Normally, the store remains open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., closed on holidays. However, due to the singular urgency of the preparation of the Horicon, I've been unable to... I need in, like right now. The desire I'm most pleased to accommodate. Let's go. Scotty. 
What the hell is going on? You'll never believe it, Professor. Let's go, Gary. How is the research progressing? It's beginning to fall into place, Gary. Listen to this. Number 10 Surgeon Square, the home of Dr. Robert Knox, anatomist in Edinburgh at the old college on the South Bridge. Alack, factual murder is not my forte. Crime does not pay. The famed comic book was my most deep involvement. Factual crime is my forte. I should have put all this together sooner. William Burke. Bill Burke. Phoebe. Phoebe. Hare. Harris. The original body snatchers. Neither living nor dead. Yet for the vampire, blood gives neither life nor death. But it does sustain life. And a career. <laughs> you know, there is something to be said for the art of the horror film. You can talk about art, but few horror film actors have ever attained it. Mm, it is the age-old problem, a lack of good parts. Lugosi, for example, would take anything just to keep working. Even the best, Vincent Price, Cheney Jr., Karloff, Christopher Lee, Lionel Atwell have always worked in pot boilers. I have always demanded literate scripts. In fact, Professor, I was so impressed with your novel, Triple Trauma, that I've given some thought to you as my writer. Talk to my agent. <laughs> Good. We might consider the, the ecological problems of the contemporary vampire. Consider how air pollution and chemical poisons have taken their effects on the human bloodstream. Excellent. And in turn, think of the effect this taint would have on the Lord drinking vampire. Something else we might consider. Who is the true monster, vampire or man? Well, it is the vampire who has come to symbolize evil. It is the human race that should have that honor. I never thought of that before. Yeah, but that is the way a modern vampire could think. And one more thing to think about. A new kind of love interest. Love interest. Good. Love interest does tend to slow things down. I mean, I'm tired of maidens lying in gothic beds, zombie-like, while Christopher Lee stares them to death. I agree. Consider this situation. Let us say you and this girl are in love. Professor, you are a vampire. You lost for her blood, but you love her too much. Still, you need blood. You are miles from anyone else. Dawn is approaching. How do you resolve this complication? Well, as Dracula would have done, I'd transform myself into a bat and... Rubbish, Professor. Don't tell me you would use such superstitious rot. A 175-pound man transforming himself into a 14-ounce bat. <laughs> a bat is a grotesquely ugly creature of the night. Red like body, claws, leathery arms. Horrible. I was merely using the tradition set down by Hollywood, superstition, folklore. Don't believe everything you see in the movies, Professor. The vampire could... could eat his own flesh, drink his own blood. Disgusting. Absolutely. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid the... Uh, morbidity of such a plot development would upset certain audiences. I do try to maintain a PG rating. He almost sounded too real. He does have a way. No wonder his fans call him convincing. <laughs> hey, listen to this. In Britain, during the 1820s, the law required that all bodies be given a Christian burial. Sanctimonious, the British. 
With growing classes of students, the schools were forced to purchase their cadavers illegally. In the case of Dr. Knox, he turned to Burke and Hare. Hey, dig this. In just 10 months, they murdered 16 men and women, selling each corpse to Knox for eight or 10 pounds. And their own demise? Knox exonerated of all blame, his career destroyed, Burke hung by the neck, his body skinned, his hide tanned, his skeleton put on the exhibit in a university's museum. Hare, a witness for the prosecution, released, vanished, and never heard of again. Oh, boy. In the old days, they really knew how to make pictures. D.W. Christmas. Barry Moore. Lon Chaney. Uh -huh. They were the great. Pictures on the wall. First, it looks like an electric shop. Bubbles all over. That's an X-ray machine. Only one for that. Electric. Atomic energy. That's what I thought it was. Oh! What do we got? Looks like limber. Oh, no. That's pieces of paper. Oh! It's pretty crazy. I once believed that Captain Marvel truly existed. Proceed with your belief. Gary, I think those PR men are Burke and Hare, kept alive all these years without a trace of aging. And what ancient alchemy could have achieved such a miracle? Malachi. And what does that make Malachi? Maybe he's exactly what he says he is. A vampire. Do I believe it? Show me around? Sure, I'd be glad to. Just let me get a couple of flashlights just in case. Not afraid of the dark, are you, George? Ooh. Follow me. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Finish my work, damn you. Damn it, I said get away from that coffin. Hold that. Sure. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? <laughs> Stop 
that crazy son of a... Hang on to him, Scotty. Don't let him up. What the hell is going on? Who is this guy? That's what I'd like to know. He thinks we've stumbled inadvertently upon one of life's fleeting skirmishes. Oh, there he is. Oh, he was trying to pry open Malachi's coffin. With this? You fools. Now you're all in danger. We're in danger. From what? A real vampire? I suppose we should call the police. Police? For a guy who believes in vampires? Okay, on your feet. I guess you're right. County Hospital would be the best place. The only place. A head shrinker would be most apropos. He was the one at the health spa last night. What are you talking about? God, I'll never forget that face. That's the link. He's on the same track. Scotty, that was Barbara's murderer. That man, he wasn't Barbara's murderer. No, but I saw him. He's the killer. He's not a killer, Cindy. You've got to trust me. It's a fantastic story, Cindy. But I need time to prove it. I just wish that I could understand some of this. But all right. I won't go to Driscoll. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks. Can you cover for me tonight? Yeah, you're covered. Good girl. I count on you both to keep an eye on that coffin when I'm resting. Sorry, Malachi. We were out taking pictures. Snapping new candidates for the oh, board. Fools! Have you no skill in your craft? The Avenger was here in the theater all the time. Don't give it the word, Malachi. We'll even skip the formalities. They're trying to kill me. Avenger has put himself in great jeopardy. He's right where we want him. Yes, we will skip the formalities. You also believe Malachi is a living vampire. And I'm convinced that Bee Bee and Harris are Burke and Hare. Thank God. I can't believe it. You are the first person. The first person. I have been working alone for so long. I was beginning to think I would never find anyone who would believe me, who would even listen. Oh, I'm listening. Call me Scotty. Scotty? My name is Tobias Ben Halik. I'm Jewish. I'm a member of the Haganah, the Israeli Avengers. I was part of the original Jewish group assigned to track down fleeing Nazi war criminals. I have been concentrating my efforts for a very long time now on the man known to the world as Malachi. In the beginning, I thought I was pursuing a Nazi, but as the evidence amassed, I realized I was on the trail of something far worse, if that's possible. A vampire. 
a vampire who had been preying on thousands of human beings for at least the past several hundred years. Evidence? What evidence? I have evidence. Quite convincing evidence. 25 years of evidence. I've got to get you out of here. How? Start with him. from the Channel Sea. In the Avenger, free as a bird. It's back to Surgeon Square. Aye, right, to face the wrath of the devil's own. Did you finish the job? It's gone. The Avenger got out ahead of us. get the Avenger another time. In the meantime, I believe, Harris, that it's your turn. I'll fix the board. Ah. That won't be necessary. The board's ready. Adult watches a movie monster strangling a movie maiden. He never for a moment believes that he is seeing anything that really happened. But when a child sees the same scene, oh God, when a child sees the same scene, he lacks the experience to tell the difference between reality and the make-believe of the silver screen. Oh, Dr. Unworth, who gave you your degree? <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Look closely here, and you will see a startling resemblance to Malachi. This would place Malachi in Great Britain at the time of Burke and Hare. Now, look at these other posters. Look at the photos. In each one, the face, and notice all of the different names. Maine, Amalek, Elaine Key, all of the names are anagrams or variations of Malachi. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still with the world famous Fay Fatale. Still here. You know, I, I haven't gotten I, rid of me yet. You look stunning. I do the best You're I so can, glittery. thank you. You know, I think you should walk around with these types of lights with you. Works so, for me, yeah. No, no, just move a little bit so you glitter. See sparkly. how glittery she is? Sparkly, sparkly. Sparkle. Yep. And matching shoes as well. Yeah, so well, I nice. mean, you asked me over, uh, you said, you know, come over in the evening. And so I was like, well, evening gown. It that's all just true. comes together. Right. 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 If you would ask me for cocktails. I, I think I said nightgown, actually. But that's oh. Right. Yeah, hmm, not right. the first to ask me that. <laughs> Faye Fatale. All right. So uh, this film, Nightmare in Blood. Nightmare in Blood. In case you didn't catch the beginning, uh, this was John Stanley's film. Yes, it was. And he made it. Yep. In 1978. Yep. And he's been kind enough to let us show it tonight. I know. You know, it's nice to know people who make films. It's nice to have those connections. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. So uh, in the film, what did we miss? What happened? Uh, we did not acknowledge Bob Wilkins cameo. That's right. He earlier cameo. in the movie. No, no. Good and our, to see him. And our director Tom had mentioned that he had done three cameos in three different films. This one. This one. Milpitas Monster. Milpitas Monster. And that one movie about Sacramento that I don't he recall. He doesn't remember the name. He's, he's I've gonna never try, seen it. He's going to try to get it so that you can come back and see it with us. Sounds whatever like a plan. Called. Let's do the, it. The, the unnamed film, but uh, we're going to figure out what it is. I love but, it. Uh, Circus of Chaos. Circus of Chaos. You did the show. I did that show. For like how many episodes? How many seasons? Uh, one season, but I want to say like 20 no. some, odd epi some odd episodes. No, Emphasis on the odd. It was multiple years, right? Because the season went really long. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, no, I, don't think I never understood the whole season thing. I, it doesn't work it, for us. It's kind of up to the person, I suppose. Well, no, because... All right, so we do a weekly show, okay. so it's like 52 episodes a year, but we yep. actually do more than 52 episodes a year. Sometimes we shoot two or three in one week. Well, if you feel that you need to, you know, call it a season, no, it's, you go well, right ahead and do so. It's like the news. Okay. Or the, the news isn't like, oh, it's it's season five of the ABC News. Well, yeah, I but mean, they didn't they do that on this. Friends either. They weren't like, hey, it's season five, guys, no. you know. Yeah, I suppose that's right. The the one was season five, you know, that the never happened. The one was season five, no. right, right. No. no, so we just go by year. And that's like fine. The, the episode number. That's fine. Like, this is episode 180. My, we've made a 180. No, I've been sitting here for 180 episodes. It's You should get up and move that's around two then. Two hours. What's, Your what's, blood is going no, to clot. What's, what's two times 180? Two times what? 360. 360. Oh. That's, that's the full, turning. That's the full. Yeah. yeah. All right. I need to stop doing this. I, I need to get a real job. You need to get a real job. No. All right. Circus of Chaos. So Circus where's Chaos. Cousin Dave? Uh, last I heard, Cousin Dave is in the Hokey Pokey Care and Rehabilitation Center. Hokey Pokey? It's a place to turn yourself around. Oh. <clears throat> and that's really what it's all about. You know, about. he needed that. It's, it's, that's what it's he all was, about. No, he was, he was, he was going down Skid Row a bit, wasn't he? No, I, I actually, um, Cousin Dave has, has not, uh, we haven't connected recently. So, um, if he is in the Hokey Pokey Center, I certainly wish him the best. Well, but you know, maybe he's watching the show. I hope so. He should drop us a note, Cousin Dave. Call in, Dave. Right, right. Yeah. All right, Operators you, are standing by. What do you think about finishing this film? All right. Shall we do it? I mean, we started it. We should probably finish we it. We should finish it. You'd they, get, they want you'd to get see letters. The end. Otherwise, letters, right? Yeah. Letters are important. I know. All right. All right. Okay. Off we go. Back to Nightmare in Blood. When All we come right. back, we're going to find out what Faye is doing next. Don't you dare change that dial. Much longer. Patience, please. We've become a formidable trio this past century. Bond has formed between us that is unique. I wouldn't want your impatience to destroy it.
now what in the hell is wrong. Something's closing in. Come on, man, get on with it. You can sense it. Feel it. Strong, forceful power. Good. No sign of them backstage. I saw no sign of them in the auditorium. No one has any objections. I would you like that, Mama. You couldn't pay me to touch that thing. The pleasure is all yours, Tobias. I thought vampires could only exist at night. Sunlight should bring about an immediate demise. Precisely. But there is no sunlight. This theater is too well cut off from the outside. No windows for the light to pour through. Of course. It's like perpetual night. This place is starting to get to me. They're in here somewhere. We all have a job to do. Our friend, the Avenger, is close at hand. He's brought some friends with him. I think it's time we laid him to rest once and for all. I think our chances are better if we split up. Are you kidding? If you think I'm going anywhere in this thing, I meant that we should split into teams. I go forth armed. You two tend to the others. Ben Halik is mine. I look for Malachi alone. Scotty, you and Gary take the basement. There's a maze of corridors and rooms down there. Cindy and I will cover the backstage area. I will check the front part of the building. On with the business of life. In 25 years, you four are the first to believe me. Some members of the Haganah, the police of the world. There is very great danger. I just want you to know, I'm very grateful to you, to all of you. We better get moving. Good luck. friend of his, Harris, is. Yes. No! Oh, no! Oh, my God, he's still alive. 
It's impossible. I shot him three times. Malachi's formula. It's made Bibi and Harris immortal. They can't be killed. Not with this, anyway. I mean, how are we gonna stop him? He'll be here in a moment. Got to think. How do you kill something immortal? Well, you chop it up into a million pieces. I mean, maybe it's still alive, but at least it can't hurt you. A million pieces. Or a pile of ashes. Cindy. Do you remember the thing? Which thing? The movie thing, RKO, 1951, played by James Arness. You mean Howard Hawks thing? Right. Do you remember how they killed the monster? Uh, they cooked it. With electricity. Right. Wait a minute. Come on. The other day when the lights blew out, I saw a cable along this wall. There it is. Uh, look, the thing was a movie. This is real life. How do you know it'll work? I don't. Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. of action is now indicated. Malachi will hardly be spiritually enriched by your handiwork. Violence was never my particular lifestyle. However,
The slugs went right through him. Behold, he lives yet. Keep this thing turned against his belly. Let's see if this goes through it. Did not our say before, man will turn to ashes. Comics will prevail. Man, we've just had one hell of an experience here. <laughs> you should have been with us upstairs. I hear you. Tobias, has anybody seen him? We haven't. No. Everything wrapped up? The final traces of the lab are gone. The ashes of all three villains have been disposed of. I made all the arrangements. The funeral for Tobias is set for tomorrow. It will be a day of great solemnity.
Just had a look at the auditorium. A great turnout. Getting a little restless, though. The gallery awaits. You've really better go. Because we share a common interest. We love to be entertained by horror, whether in novels, film, comics. We don't mind being frightened because we've always believed that creatures of the supernatural to be mere figments of writer's imagination. These creatures of the undead do exist. They walk freely among us, preying on us. We must now band together with a new goal. A goal that goes beyond the confines of this convention. A goal designed to warn others that these supernatural creatures do exist. Our power of belief is our greatest weapon in this coming battle. Malachi and his henchmen have been destroyed. But there are others like him still out there, waiting. Beware the monster. He walks among us. And that brings the stake down on Nightmare in Blood. How did you like that ending? That was a fantastic ending. I timed the uh, the death scene. Right. I timed Malachi's death scene as he devoured the scenery. Minute 32. One minute, 32 Pull seconds. Pull focus, Malachi. I love it. Love wow. it. And did you notice that he died not with the typical vampire uh, cross to the face? Right. Star of David to the face. No, it's, it's more... Or ornamental. The star of David right. compels you, and then yeah. he died. Right. So Mazel Tov. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a nice twist. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. We haven't twist. seen that really in what, Vampire. What do you think of the film? She's seen it many she's times seen it. before. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we make her sit through these things. I and, know. Uh, she's a, so I been good up. sport though. Good yeah. sport. She she typically Such comes out trooper. here on the last segment. And the last few guests we've had, she's decided not to. Well, I've also seen the last few guests you've had. And, yeah. um, no, they're, they're all good people, but they have you know, their moments. You I mean. know, I think it's good because if if she's not particularly fond of a particular guest, mm -hmm. you know, she's done some bad things. Oh. In the past, it's a true story. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, the... Faye, what are you doing next? Uh, well, in addition to my uh, my my publication that we've also just talked about, uh, I have a publication coming out in the UK. I in was, the UK? I, I was, know this place. Uh, you've been there. You've done that. Did you, know. you actually go there to do this thing? I, I didn't do that. I just sent them the oh. photos. Um, All right. But it was, it's called Bombshell Magazine. And uh, it can be, you can order it in a digital copy. You can order a paper copy. My paper copy hasn't shown up yet. Because I've seen this magazine at the chemist before. Bombshell Magazine. I can officially oh my call goodness. myself a bombshell. You are a bombshell girl. Right? And so if anyone wants to, you know, look it up online uh, when this goes oh, to air, I'll fabulous. give a little information on the old social medias. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of which, what uh, is the one that they should go to? Uh, I think the easiest would probably be Instagram. Instagram. Faye X Fatal. At Faye X Fatal. F-A-Y-E X as in the X files. F-A-T-A-L-E. Faye X Fatal. That's nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming tonight. You're going to stick around pleasure. for a bit, right? Sticking around. All right. We're going to have you back again soon. All right. And uh, you guys, I hope you had fun. It was a good movie. Mm -hmm. You asked for a good movie. We gave you a good movie. Wonderful guest. And then we had plenty of Tangella. Yeah. Probably more than you.
bargain for. They never get enough. Oh, I know. They love her. They love her. They, they, they love you too. Oh, I have And fun. they love Livingston. Yeah, they do. Me, they could do without. Uh. All right. Well, that's it for tonight. You guys, make sure you tune in next week. We're going to have a different guest, different movie. I have no idea who, but it will be fun because Tangela will be with us. See you next time. So, uh, Faye. Yes. I'm feeling rather peckish, All and right. I think we should go get some supper. Sounds good. So, I'd really like to get some chicken. As long as we get the face special. What's the face special? It's all breasts and legs.